Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I have a board game shelf tour to show you guys. So stay tuned. Alright everyone, so I'm going to give you all a tour of my board game shelf. Um, I am just holding my phone to record this in my hand so hopefully it won't be too awful shaky and hopefully we can get the glare off the boxes as they go but on the top of the shelf we have a big tote of pogs um, i'm not going to pull that down right now but if you guys are interested in seeing that sometime let me know and i will go ahead and work on taking that down and showing you guys um on top of that lid is a lord of the rings game um, in a special collector's box. Unfortunately, I cannot reach that. I'm short <laughs> and it's too high up, um, but it it's just a, a special Lord of the Rings game. Then we have Uno Attack, which is an older version of the Uno Attack um, from the 90s. Coming down to the upper shelf here, we'll start on the left. I have a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas Journey. Um, it's kind of like shoots and ladders, but with Rudolph characters. Um, and then I have three card scramble games that are all Christmas themed. I have A Christmas Story, and I can try to angle this to get the glare off. I have the one for Elf, and then I have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Card Scramble. Um, these games are fun, but also the instructions are kind of confusing. Um, I did look up videos about how to play these online and it seems like everybody was confused. <laughs> um, so we kind of just make our own rules with those. So next in the stack, we have classic battleship and then the classic guess who. And then at the bottom of this one, we have showdown Yahtzee. Um, it's, a little bit different. It's kind of like um, poker, sort of, with Yahtzee. So in the middle of this first row here, we have Rummy Cube. Then we have Franchise It. Um, as you as you can see, like the plastic's still on it there. So um, I haven't actually opened it and played it with anybody, <laughs> but it kind of looks like a ripoff of Monopoly. Um, next in the stack is Deluxe Edition Yahtzee. So it's got the gold dice. Um, and I'll have to move this out of the way. There was something sitting blocking the shelf. Um, so then we have Scooby-Doo Pop and Race, um, which is basically like Trouble Bubble game. Or the Trouble Game. I'm sorry, it's not called Trouble Bubble. <laughs> um, the original Connect Four and then the, the Trouble Game. <laughs> so in the middle of here, we have Uno Wild Tiles. Um, I haven't played that before. It's definitely an older game. Um, and then we have Uno Madness, and it's some kind of Uno tile game. Um, I don't remember if we tried to play that before or not, but then beside of that is Rotten Apples, which is a really fun game to play. Um, then up here we have like a mini version of Jenga. Five Alive, which is a card game, I think is by the uh, same people that make Uno. And then we have a Dragon Ball Super, um, just a plain old deck of cards. And then this is unopened, but I had these opened as a kid. Um, it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers War of the Zord card game. Um, my dad found this at a thrift store and got it for me, and I just, I never opened it. It's kind of more of a collector thing. And then... I'll show you this. This was what was in the way blocking these. Um, it's the Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle Box that I did open in another video. So if you guys are interested in seeing that unbox, go ahead and check that out. And then we'll start the second shelf now. So we'll start over at the left again. So we have Clues Mysteries. Um, it's like a different version of Clue. And I don't believe we actually have even played that before. Um, but next is the classic game of Clue, and this is a newer version of the classic game of Clue. Then we have The Simpsons Game of Life, and I love special edition board games. We have The Simpsons Seen It DVD game, The Simpsons Jeopardy, 
uh, The Simpsons Battle of the Sexes and The Simpsons Clue, which Clue is one of my favorite board games, that and Monopoly. Um, unfortunately, I don't usually have enough players for Clue, so I don't get to play it too often. But okay, guys, back to the middle here. I already showed you the box that's sitting here. So next is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the game. Um, I have played that before. It, it's a little interesting. You kind of have to like build the castle and stuff when you go around in it. Um, it wasn't too bad of a game. Next is Harry Potter Clue. And again, Clue is one of my favorite games. So you're going to see a lot of Clue on here. <laughs> Next we have the Seinfeld Clue. Um, then the Game of Life Twist and Turns. Um, it's like a different version of normal life. And then we have the Game of Life Fame. So again, it's just like a different edition. Um, the Game of Life Pirates of the Caribbean. I have played that one a lot. Um, it's fun to play that one while you watch the movies. And then we have an original Game of Life. Coming over here, we have another Harry Potter. Um, this one is a mystery at Hogwarts game. So it's kind of similar to that one. Um, then we have a Simpsons um, chess game. And up here is a Trivial Pursuit Family Guy game. And then there's some extra Monopoly money and pieces. That's what that is. So then we'll come down here <laughs> to the third shelf. Let me get down here, guys. So on the start of the third shelf, we have Trivial Pursuit Lord of the Rings, Trivial Pursuit SNL Edition, Trivial Pursuit uh, Pop Culture, and Trivial Pursuit Pop Culture 2. Then you have your classic Candyland, 90s Trivial Pursuit, 80s Trivial Pursuit, and the 20th anniversary of Trivial Pursuit. And then we have um, an old, old game, the Mad Magazine game. And I don't think I've actually played that. I'm not sure if it even has all the pieces or not. Um, my dad had grabbed it for me just because of how old it was. He thought it might be worth something. Um, then we have Sheets and Ladders, another classic, Operation, and Scrabble. Again, all classics that you guys would have heard of. So then this one on the fourth shelf, we're almost to the bottom, is Monopoly Millionaires. Then it's Monopoly Here and Now World Edition, Normal Monopoly, Deluxe Edition Monopoly. So again, Monopoly is one of my favorites, so there's a lot of different Monopolies here. <laughs> Um, in the middle, we have Sorry, and then we have Pokemon Sorry, Monopoly Voice Banking, and Monopoly Here and Now Edition. Then we have just the classic game of Checkers, Pirates of the Caribbean Seen It, and Disney Channel's Seen It. And then when we come down here to the bottom row, this might be a little bit harder for me to film, <laughs> we have Warren Opoly, Fish Opoly, Monster Jam Opoly, Bible Opoly, Dog Opoly, Cat Opoly, American Opoly, <laughs> and then if you go to the middle, we have Supernatural Edition of Monopoly, Hawaii Edition, The Family Guy Edition, Star Wars Edition, NASCAR Edition, <laughs> and Century of Flight Edition of Monopoly. And then we have a different Star Wars Monopoly, Lord of the Rings Monopoly, and a Despicable Me Monopoly. So you can tell. <laughs> There's a lot of monopolies, <laughs> but all right, guys, um, there's the board game shelf tour. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you can, please leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Go ahead and let me know in that comment section below if you would like to see the pogs unboxed and I can show you those. There are a lot of them. Um, and thank you all so much for watching. You can subscribe if you'd like to. I have tons of videos and I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. Uh, my last look today, I was at like 630. Um, so thank you all so much for subscribing and watching the videos and sticking around. All the support, I really appreciate it. If you want, you can ring the notification bell and it'll let you know every time I post videos. I try to post videos weekly. Thank you all again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.